Welcome again to the ACE channel, where we look at some of the ACE products that are on sale from us. Remember, we sell anything from a connector to a radio mast, and all brands from Intel to Zotec. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Today we will be looking at another product that is on sale from us, and that is of course the Nisse uh, Antenna Vector Impedance Analyzer. What I do like about this device is that it just doesn't measure the SWR or the impedance. You can also see a few other things which I don't really quite understand what it is used for but nevertheless this device will do a band of frequencies as you can see at the bottom here it'll do VHF the full band it'll do 195 to 280 and it'll also do the full UHF band um, and that's what's quite nice about this it is one nifty little device that'll do all the bands in the box you have the rechargeable cable there is space for some adapters this is my own adapter it didn't come with the um, with the device there's of course the booklet and what we have here is the actual little instrument now what I do like about the instrument it is a nice size it fits in your hand quite neatly um, I'm just going to fit this it has a built-in battery as you can see um, can't remember what the size of the battery was but it is ample to do a range of tests okay well let's just see what it does and I'm going to hold my thumb on the power button and as you can see it shows ace comms there that is a pre-programmed feature <clears throat> so I can change that to anything I want it has a counter on the top to show us a counting of the what time the device has been on and there you go so if we go to system you'll be able to see that you have some settings you can select there this is primarily to adjust the name on the display but also the band that you want to work on so if you go to band you will see it will select the band that we are using okay then if we go to exit we can go to the scan mode there is a single mode which will show you just a little bar graph of what is going on now I will just quickly get an antenna and we can have a look at this I have with me some antennas which are used this is a huge a used antenna um, and on the back it says 146 to 174 I don't quite know which brand this was was this a Kenwood antenna or was it a cheaper brand but it looks a lot like the Kenwood antenna here is a UHF antenna and this one actually says Kenwood on it okay now I think I'm not sure it just says UMB 73 I'm not sure what the KRA number for this antenna was but I've already fitted the adapter there it comes with a BNC which is fairly common for lots of antennas um, okay now if you go to this display you can click run on here the frequency at the top there is basically the frequency that it'll test this antenna on okay so on this frequency 438 it'll indicate the exact SWR and the impedance okay so what makes this very nice is you can now say um, stop or you can go to um, you can scroll through the frequency um, to find the exact place where this antenna matches um, to get maybe the lowest frequency you can go to stop there um, and I'm just going to take that up to a, a zero to just make it easier for us um, 
so we can just scroll through the frequency so let's go back to to run we select the frequency there and let us see what will happen if we can get this antenna to the best SWR which is the top bar okay so it seems that this antenna is basically going to peak at about 460 okay so the best will be 460 meg or thereabout okay it also shows us the impedance and which of course if you want to know a bit more about antennas you'll find that your um, achievable impedance that you want would be 50 ohms okay so let's let's go to stop and we go back to the other screen and we do a scan and i'm just going to show you the center frequency in the middle top there is called cf which is obviously center frequency um, at the bottom we have a little indicator here that indicates um, when it is generating um, i'm making the span 24 megs either way and it'll we have the swr the reactants and all those values at the bottom okay now let's start by just pressing the scan button and see how this actually performs <clears throat> you'll see now that it will run through and plot a chart depending on the chart on the right hand side you will be able to see that this is a it is set to wave SWR if I go to this button again and I press it we have the um, Z wave the next one is the impedance it will give us and the next one is i'm not sure what the x wave is but there's the swr so yeah we can obviously then see through the band where the best swr is so so if we're going up to achieving or going down to achieving the best swr for the specific antenna which we saw from the previous um, measurements it's going to be up in the 460s the span isn't far enough but you get the idea and you get the same thing which you can do with um, if we change the graph to the impedance you'll see that obviously this is slightly out of band i should have selected a a bigger or a higher center frequency well let's let's try that to go back to um, we go to scan once again and then on top what we can do the center frequency let's make the center frequency um, 445 okay and what do we do is we try and do another scan and see while the scan is running how it is going to work I do really enjoy this this little instrument it seems to be a nice instrument to have in your toolbox um, very 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 nice um, and what we can make out from here if we go to another graph um, let's choose SWR you'll see that this antenna is going to more or less peak out at about 460 as we've tested before but there you'll be able to see the impedance at the bottom as well in the actual resistance so as we get closer to 460 meg you'll see the impedance get closer to 50 ohms or what we want it to be but there you go guys it's about my bit on this device thank you for watching if there's any other questions that you want to ask me um, regarding this or anything else make sure to send a comment and thank you for watching this is a brilliant little device thank you thank you for watching another great review from ASCOMS please like subscribe and share our videos also feel free to send a comment request for a review or just a shout out
Stay safe. Till next time.